Oh, oh goodness, the now that's the big real schools. thing, isn't it? Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 amazing artifacts from the ancient world. It's such a clever, extraordinary, sophisticated machine. Completely, completely shocking for ancient Greece. For this list, we're looking at artifacts from the ancient world and what they might tell us about early people and civilizations. Which of these do you find the most fascinating? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. The Babylonian Map of the World Housed in the British Museum since the late 1880s is the Babylonian Map of the World. But don't go expecting some extravagant wall-mounted tableau. This little thing measures about 5 inches high and 3 inches across. Still, it is an amazing bit of human history. Dating from the 6th century BC, this map depicts the Euphrates River and its surrounding environs like Babylon and Susa. Babylon was a city in Mesopotamia, which is now modern-day Iraq. The city was known by the Akkadians as Barvil, which means Gate of the Gods. It also depicts an ocean surrounding Mesopotamia, the various mountains beyond, and text inscriptions reciting Marduk's creation of Babylon. The map tells us much about ancient Babylonian culture, not only how they physically saw the world, but also their beliefs and religious systems. Unfortunately, the ruins of Old Babylon have been lost to us since the water level has steadily risen over the years, and the ruins which are visible today date to over 1,000 years after the city was founded. Number 9. School Jewelry Back in the mid-2000s, researchers discovered small shell beads inside a cave in Israel. And what's important about these shells is that they've got holes in them that we think were made by people to make these shells parts of necklaces or jewellery. School Cave is found on the slopes of Mount Carmel, which has hosted human habitation since the Neanderthal age. The shells had small holes cut into them, indicating that they were part of a necklace or bracelet. It's also believed that the shells are up to 100,000 years old, indicating that jewellery has long been a part of human history. How do you know they're 100,000 years old? Well, luckily, this shell's got some sediment from the cave still attached to it. Experts claim that jewellery wasn't solely meant for fashion. It bore a social construct as well. So this is a complex burial, and when we put that together with the presence of jewellery, we get a picture of modern human behavior. It could be used to denote power and wealth, or it could be used in a religious context as some type of protective talisman. Number eight, the Dead Sea Scrolls. The scrolls lay hidden for nearly two millennia until a Bedouin shepherd stumbled upon them in 1946. Often regarded as one of the greatest archaeological finds in human history, the Dead Sea Scrolls are monumentally important to our understanding of ancient cultures. This is the only copy that contains all of the Ten Commandments. Oh my goodness, so this is, so, the, is this the oldest record of the Ten Commandments? This is the oldest record of the Ten Commandments. These parchment scrolls are thousands of years old, yet were only recently discovered. Well, relatively recently, in the mid 19th 40s. No one really knows who wrote them, although they have long been associated with a Jewish sect called the Essenes. About three quarters of the scrolls are manuscripts relating to the Hebrew Bible, including ancient books that were not officially canonized. The scrolls have had a huge impact on our understanding of history, both in religious and cultural contexts. Outside of the biblical content, the scrolls contain such things as calendars and commentaries on the scriptures. Number seven. Bone flutes. Music is in our bones, quite literally. Numerous flutes made of bone and ivory have been found in various German caves. They date to the late Stone Age and are associated with the Aurignacian industry, making them about 40,000 years old. The Dilya Babe flute is the world's oldest known musical instrument, and it could be upwards of 60,000 years old. It was made from the femur of a cave bear. The existence of this ancient flute suggests that Neanderthals were more intelligent and spiritual than is typically believed. Experts also theorize that flutes and music were an important tool in human habitation, allowing us greater and more expansive social networks. This is the true power of music. Hey, 
Number 6. Venus of Holofels Another German cave discovery, the Venus of Holofels is currently the oldest known carving of a human being. It really changes our image of how people viewed their world about 35 or even 40,000 years ago. Although you probably wouldn't know this by looking at it, it being a bit blobby in design. Also belonging to the Aurignacian industry, this figurine is approximately 40,000 years old and is missing both its left arm and head. However, the lack of head is intentional, as the figurine was likely worn as some kind of dangling amulet. Previous to this, we've found a lot of evidence for working ivory. We found lots of ivory artifacts, ornaments, tools, but we never actually found a figurative representation. So that is new. It's believed that the figurine was meant to represent fertility and reproduction, basically the continuation of the human species at a time when mere survival was a day-to-day -day battle. In culture and art was an important part of the life during that time. Number five, the Code of Hammurabi. Hammurabi reigned between 1792 and 1750 BCE. And during this time, he transformed the city. When people think of dense legal texts, their eyes often glaze over and they get a slack-jawed expression as they desperately fight sleep. But not when it comes to the Code of Hammurabi. Composed around 1750 BC, the code is inscribed on a smooth black rock that stands over seven feet tall. As its name suggests, the code was drawn up by the Babylonian king Hammurabi, and it contains over 4,000 lines of legal text. He improved upon the walls of the city of Babylon, built temples and increased public works, and used his law code to maintain peace in his extended kingdom. All the complex laws are listed, ranging from real estate to criminal. The code provides enormous insight into ancient Babylonian culture and the complex politics of the city. It also greatly influenced all future integrations of rightful law and order. Number four, the Epic of Gilgamesh tablets. The text on this tablet is 1,000 years older than Homer's poems and tells the story of a legendary hero named Gilgamesh. We got a lot of cool stuff from Mesopotamia, including the world's oldest piece of surviving literature. The Epic of Gilgamesh concerns the titular mythological hero, who was well known in ancient Mesopotamian culture. Many of the clay tablets on which the poem was written survive to this day, with some dating back to the 18th century BC. The tablets themselves are incredible, but even more incredible is the poem's legacy and impact. Utnapishtim has a story which is almost identical to the story of Noah. It basically invented literature as we know it by creating the heroic myth and greatly influencing later Greek mythology. Some aspects of the poem were even borrowed for the Hebrew Bible. And the biblical canon's influence on modern humanity is obviously wide-ranging. The Epic of Gilgamesh started it all. Number three, Lomekwi stone tools. They are the oldest stone tools found so far in the world. It's amazing to think about early humans' ingenuity when it came to making tools. For example, archaeologists working in Norfolk unearthed an axe formed around a shell fossil that was 250,000 years old. But perhaps it's even more amazing to think about non-human creatures making tools. In 2015, a team discovered the oldest stone tools to humankind. In fact, they even predate humankind. You can see that these stone tools were modified. They were modified by hominids. These primitive tools were found in a Kenyan riverbed and are believed to be 3.3 million years old. Now we have the evidence of what they were able to make and how they were able to make them. We don't really know what made these tools, although some suspect it was an early homonym called Kenyanthropus platyops. Either way, the tools predate Homo sapiens by about three million years. Number two, the Rosetta Stone. And this is it, the single most famous slab of rock in archeology. span And here we have the most visited object in the British Museum, where it's been housed since 1802. Dating back to 196 BC, the Rosetta Stone is a literal stone inscribed with the decree of Memphis. Recorded in both ancient Egyptian and Greek, the Rosetta Stone commemorates young Ptolemy V as pharaoh of Memphis. And what makes it so remarkable 
is that it has the same piece of text repeated three times in three different scripts. But this object is more important than its historical context would suggest. We had long lost the ability to translate ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs, but the Rosetta Stone allowed us to crack the code. For over a thousand years, the hieroglyphs of ancient Egypt were a complete mystery. Then the discovery of this stone in 1798 started an extraordinary intellectual race. Finally, after more than a thousand years, we deciphered and understood ancient Egyptian writing. The Rosetta Stone is now an idiom meant to signify a tool or clue that solves a specific problem. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Antikythera Mechanism This both looks and sounds like something out of a fantasy novel. Discovered in 1901, the Antikythera mechanism is often regarded as the world's oldest analog computer. Anything from ancient Greece simply shouldn't have gear wheels. Don't get too excited, it's not like the ancient Greeks were streaming Netflix. Rather, the Antikythera mechanism was used in a complex model of the known solar system. It is completely astonishing that the ancient Greeks firstly had the conception of making this technology and second the ability to actually physically make it. This in turn was utilized to predict astronomical occurrences like solar eclipses and the lunar month. No one really knows how old the device is, with estimates ranging from between 205 BC and 60 BC. Either way, this was by far the most complex machine of its time. And it would be another thousand years before something rivaled its mechanical ingenuity. We've had to rethink the history of technology completely as a result of this single object. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.